Good afternoon. I think you were hoping you'd be seeing Father Bill at this point, but regrettably the computer gremlins have uh, made life complicated for him again. So I've been asked to read his contribution. Today's gospel reading is about seeing and light. Some Greek people turn up wanting to see Jesus for themselves. It's a natural thing to want to do. During lockdown, lots of people have been dreaming about seeing places they haven't seen before. International travel has all but stopped for most of us. Eileen and Father Bill support, to guide, support guide dogs for the blind. Their retired guide dog, Kelsey, made such a difference to the life of his former owner. Eric preaches and leads services in many churches in North Wales and makes Christian radio programs. Kelsey helped him to do that. Those of us lucky enough to have sight tend to take our vision for granted. What we see is light reflected and refracted both from nearby objects and from outer space. We're able to make sense of the world as our eyes send the pictures to our brains by light acting on the optic nerve. I've been particularly conscious of this over the last few days, as I had an eye operation only a few days ago. The change in what I now see and understand is dramatic. This is my last thought for the day during Lent. I think that each of us have contributed to these thoughts of the day of Lent have had one aim in view. It's the same goal as our preaching and Bible studies in the Christian church. As a young preacher in the 1960s, I would travel very many miles across the UK, preaching at chapels and churches. Many of them had a little note in the pulpit. It read, sir, we would see Jesus. Women preachers read it as mum, but we knew what it meant. We unite as we approach Easter with the desire not to engage in abstruse arguments about words or philosophy. We simply want to see Jesus and help others to do the same. In the passage, Jesus says, walk in the light. I think we all know what that means. It is the light that brings Jesus to us so we can see his glory and follow him.